And now for something completely different. Hello, revolutionary music makers. I'm Kate Harmony. This is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. This channel helps you make great music that stands out. And if you're new to music theory, be sure to download our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords, in the link is below. So a lot, we get a lot of questions from people asking us about our online apprenticeship course. What is it? What's the format? All that stuff. Uh, so we thought we'd give you a taster because it's a pretty unique course because it involves totally unedited footage of me writing a whole song from start to finish and teaching every step of the process along the way. Um, it's pretty difficult to kind of get a feel for what that is unless you watch it, so we thought we'd give you a little taster here. However, we're, we're never going to show you on YouTube how to uh, write new sections for existing sections, how to transition between sections, uh, how to structure and arrange your song, all that stuff, because that is the secret sauce that we sell in our online apprenticeship course. <laughs> so if you want to learn how to write a great song from start to finish, then check out the course because uh, that helps us pay the rent every month. So it's a win-win. Um, right, uh, this video is going to be unedited as you can probably tell. Uh, you can watch the time down here on the screen, uh, 3.42, and uh, we're gonna write something from blank canvas uh, to something, I don't know what it's gonna be. Um, <laughs> Uh, we'll just do one section, obviously, uh, and the idea with um, with these types of videos is, uh, well, here on YouTube, is to get you over that um, obstacle of the blank canvas. So um, even if you're not struggling with writer's block, you know, uh, I've, you know, overdoing teaching this stuff for, I don't even know anymore, how long have I been? Decades and yeah, decades. 24 years, I don't know. Um, the most common issue uh, songwriters and producers have is where to start. So that's what we're gonna just give you some ideas to, to get started and then if you wanna go further, check out the course. Um, right, conceptualizing. Step number one, whenever you, um, before you open your door to hack music theory, <laughs> um, always conceptualize. So you wanna mm. have an idea of what it is that you're gonna do. Otherwise you're gonna end up wasting your time and you're gonna end up on YouTube watching videos, not like this one though. This is, <laughs> this is helpful. You're gonna end up watching cat videos. Don't, <laughs> don't wanna watch cat videos. Um, so before you open your door to hack music theory, <laughs> okay. subliminal program, um, you wanna have an idea, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, well, you wanna have a concept um, out of which the idea is going to grow. Um, a concept can really be anything from, you know, a theory idea, which we're going to give you an abundance of here, because mm -hmm. that's what we do. Um, but it could be a phrase you hear. It could be anything, a smell. I should a do mood, one on how to turn a, a smell. Color. How to turn a smell yeah. into, yeah, yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. fun. Um, but really anything, it could, like, you know, it's, it's really common to um, to get ideas from non-musical things. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you know, and then there's more common ones like emotions, you know, you're feeling something, you want to express that. So whatever it is, have a concept. Um, it is the foundation. You know, you don't build a house without a foundation. You don't build a tiny house without a trailer, right? <laughs> so you need your foundation and that's conceptualizing. So mm -hmm. just sit down with a cup of tea, before you open your door, get that concept down. What is it that you're gonna do? And it can be something very small, like what we have here today is a polymeter party. Don't really know much more than that, um, but <laughs> we're gonna make some polymeters, uh, have a party, and um, there you go. I haven't, I haven't, I've purposefully put very little thought into this um, beforehand because um, I wanted to think out loud in the video so you can watch it all unfolding. Uh, so a polymeter party. A but polymeter first, party. Tea. Oh. <laughs> it's unedited you have to watch us drinking tea now. <laughs> oh that's really good. Okay. Um green tea if you're wondering. What are you drinking? Green tea? Yeah. And Same. lemon myrtle. No I've got Different one. Okay, so here we go. Uh, where to start? Um, 
just for fun because this um, this little little uh, study that I'm gonna be um, whooping up here uh, I just want it to be weird and fun um, <laughs> so uh, totally totally different to me um, I like mm. to I like to think I'm weird and fun but probably not either of them actually am I, I don't know. anyway Maybe, you'll, maybe, music. maybe I can change your mind with <laughs> what's about to happen. Okay, so um, quickest, easiest hack if you want to spice things up is just set up an odd number of bars for your loop. Mm -hmm. um, it's such an easy one and you hardly ever hear it. Um, just never hear it. We listen to hundreds of new songs every week, staying on top of all the new releases and hardly ever hear it. So we've got three bars over here. Um, we are going to start with uh, bass, I don't know, mm, bass or, uh, let's go, oh by the way I just loaded up some instruments here that I like, piano and cello, uh, my favorite combo, um, cello is beautiful, so um, my whole my whole back, which I'm not going to show you on this channel, it's not that kind of channel, but my, my back piece <laughs> tattoo, <laughs> I am taking my shirt off on this channel, um, my my back piece tattoo and my whole back is a big massive cello so uh -huh. I like cellos um, strings uh, pit, pizzicato strings which are the plucked strings um, and I used them in the video last week and I was like oh that's really nice so I've got them back um, bass and drums uh, we'll go through like what sounds we're using as well because we get a lot of questions um, about that oh. so um, let's start with uh, strings. So, uh, insert new MIDI item. Now, I um, I was I had this I had this idea um, of of doing. Um, actually, maybe I should come back to that. Um, so, I had this idea of like um, setting up a a pulse, like a little intro, um, where there's the strings um, are going. Um, on, uh, where should we be down here maybe? Um, so he's got 16s, um, and, oh hello, that's a, <laughs> we want a rectangles. Um, so the strings are going to set up, um, so it's got a one, major three, major seven. I was thinking we get the strings to like set up this fake pulse. Um, so, um, um, in like fives, maybe five, six, so two, three, four, five, one. Um, maybe we just do one bar and then, oh, you know what, I'll do, um, I'll do that at the end. I'll just, uh, separate one and we'll get an intro out of that. Um, so, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. That'd be a good time for you to have a little sip of your tea. Two, three, <laughs> four, five, one. Okay. Is that right? The, there should be four, four. four spaces yeah. in between. Okay, it looks right. Um, and then at the end, uh, we're just going to do a little chop um, to make it uh, line up again uh, with the beginning. Um, actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to take that out instead um, because that's going to make it sound very obvious that th there's that stutter, right? Um, where everything is going to line up. All the time signatures are going to line up again. Um, oh, uh, by the way, polymeter is just when you have uh, two or more time signatures playing simultaneously. Uh, it's it sounds complicated, but it's really easy. So the strings are going to um, be in in five, five sixteen. 16. Um, okay. Yeah. So uh, and these videos, um, this one's going to be like a bit more advanced, but um, some will be um, like super easy. It depends. It depends on, they're going to be different genres, going to be um, different uh, levels. So, um, yeah, this one's kind of going in around the middle somewhere. 
Um, so, yeah, I wanted the space at the end here to, to kind of really blur the lines of like what the pulse is. Because when you listen to this, you're going to be nodding along with that pulse thinking that's quarter notes, right? So you're going to think hmm. that's quarter notes, right? But then the drums are going to come in and it's going to be very much not um, Check quarter it. notes. Um, so... Um, so I'll leave that for now, um, and then we'll, yeah, okay, um, so let's get this, um, down into, um, uh, maybe if we take it down to the drums, I'm just doing this to, um, to save a little time, um, cause we can... Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Turn it into our diamonds. Um, diamonds are forever. <laughs> as long as they're midi drum diamonds. Right. Um, and so now I just put that five pulse on the kick um, to lock it in. I'm going to see if like it's quite common to have a polymeter where the drums are playing in... in in four with, um, we'll, we'll do this as well, like where we're gonna have a backbeat, so the snare will go on the two and the four, like that, um, and... Um, so you can see, if I change that to chord notes, uh, so we've got two and the four, right? Two, four, two, four. Um, it's pretty common to have the drums like playing, you know, the four, four with the snare, um, and then the kick follows along with the other time signature from another instrument um, mm -hmm. that locks in. Um, I'm wondering if we can do that with uh, two time signatures on the kick. So the kick is going to lock in with the 516, but then we're also going to add some bass in something different. And I'm wondering if we can lock oh. the kick in with that as well. It's um, really going to be a party. It is. That's the idea. Okay. Yeah. So what was it like twos? Three's a crowd? Yeah. Yeah, four's a party. Oh, okay. I don't know if we're going to get fit four in. <laughs> that might be a bit of a long video, so uh, yeah. I think we'll stick with three. But... Oh, yeah. Um, so just to uh, um, just to give us that pulse, um, the coordinate pulse. Um, should we do China? Um... And that might be a bit much. Let's take it down. And play. Boom. Um. um. Yeah. Okay. Should we do that? Yeah. Um. We'll keep that for now. Um. Oh, I'm just drawing out. Um. So we're just accenting the one. Okay, um, I'm just gonna throw this up an octave. Is that too high? No. Okay, um, and we'll probably change some of those. I kind of like that droning on the, um, on, so apparently, um, we're in C. I was thinking, um, you, uh, you could also, when, you, when you're conceptualizing, it could be just as simple as, like, what scale, um, you want to use, mm -hmm. like, if there's a cool scale you want to use. Um, I was thinking um, the other thing I want to do is like cr uh, create um, kind of a uh, uplifting sounding vibe um, in the beginning, um, and then when the um, when the bass comes in, I want it to turn dark. So um, without without changing the scale though, right? So um, so we want the major three. Um, but we want a scale that's going to sound dark with a major three. Uh -huh. um, so I was thinking uh, the uh, double, uh, 
harmonic major, um, mm. which is such a cool scale because it has two um, augmented second intervals, which is just the interval of uh, it's a fancy way of saying three semitones, interval three semitones. So um, we've got C, um, well, because apparently we're in C, so uh, that's where I started, so we're just going to go with that. C, D flat, which is the flat two, and then E is the major three, and then four, five, and then flat six, and seven. Um, so you can see there's a three semitone interval from D flat to E, and then another one from A flat to B. So it's got a major third, but it's going to sound really dark when the bass comes in. So it's like everything is just kind of a trick because um, you kind of think there's that chord note pulse and it's like all nice and uplifting and then the bass and drums are going to come in and suddenly it's going to turn dark and you realize that like what you're nodding along to is very definitely not the pulse. Um, so, uh, okay, well, let's just leave that for now. Um, let's, let's head into the bass. I'm just going to copy this down to the bass. Um, this is another hack I use all the time. So, um, when you, when you're doing, um, like if you're going to write a bass line for chords, just copy them over, um, into that track and mute them. So, um, you can see what you're working with. Um, otherwise, otherwise it's, um, you know, you're writing against another another part that you can't see so you don't know if it's going to work um i mean this is all pretty simple right now but um it uh, we might change it so um, let's see um crunchy bass yeah oh i was going to tell you about um, drum sounds uh, and all the sounds so um we are using um get good drums um modern and massive uh, favorite drum sounds so mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. so cool um, and the uh, yeah the the dudes over at get good drums are making some crazy amazing things so check it out and no we are not endorsed um, we bought it so um, we are not endorsed by anyone we we bought everything we use because we love it um, so drum sounds and Okay, um, bass sounds, um, we're using uh, uh, Stephen Wilson's um, Ghostwriter, which is amazing. Shout out to Stephen Wilson, who uh, used to be my neighbor in London, but that's, <laughs> that's a story for another video. Um, and no, we don't only use instruments from people that we are friends <laughs> with and neighbors with. Um, that would be a little limiting. Um, okay, strings, we are um, using um, the, what are we using? Hollywood. Hollywood strings. Oh, Hollywood strings. Um, from, uh, we use the Composer Cloud, um, East West Composer Cloud, um, just nice. like so much amazing stuff in there. And once again, no endorsements, we pay every month, it's a, sub a subscription thing. Um, and uh, cello is also from, from there. Um, and piano we use, I don't know if we're gonna get to piano, it's um, the Grandia, uh, it's our favorite piano, it sounds so good. Okay, um, let's get back to the bass. Um, okay, so now let's, uh, we wanna make this, we wanna bring, bring out the darkness. So do we do it straight away? Going to that flat two straight away is gonna, um, I like that. Um, then maybe we head up to the seven, lock it in with that maybe. Um, and I, I really want to use when you when you use um, the scales with um, with three semitone intervals. Um, you want to use you know, make sure you actually um, mm -hmm. play those notes. Um, next to each other to really make the most of that. Uh, short maybe, bring this one up. Oh, that's kind of cool. And obviously that flat six is tense, right? It wants to, it wants to go down to the five. Um, yeah, I like that. And then maybe... 
down to the three. Mm, I don't know. Nah, let's do that one a little longer. That sounded a little bit rushed. Um, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> um, and maybe up to the four, down to the flat two again. Maybe I want that flat two to be a little longer, maybe. So just a quick four down to the flat two. I like it. Okay. Um, now, check this out. What I'm going to do is um, that is seven, um, seven eighth notes. So I'm going to keep that. Um, and we are going to do seven eight um, in, in the bass. Um, so, and now the bass is um, obviously not. When you do polymeters, it's always, you know, at, unless you want to go on forever. Um, and depending on what, um, if you use two or three time signatures that are going to, um, you know, sometimes you can get them to match up sooner. Um, sometimes, like, I don't ever think about where they're going to ma match up again. So, in other words, all their ones are in the same place. Um, I just kind of think about what kind of feeling I want from the time signature. Um, and then I, I use a time signature, I decide how long I want to go for, and then I just cut them. And, and then the, that's where all the ones um, match up again. Um, so I used the 516 um, in the pizzicato strings because I wanted, to, I wanted to take a chord note pulse and just kind of like, just stretch it out a little bit longer. So it's kind of like this twisted, like distorted mm -hmm. chord note pulse. So when the drums come in, suddenly it's going to feel like it's rushing because you got used to like a slightly slower chord note pulse, which it's not a chord note pulse. But, um, and then the bass is in 7-8 because I wanted like um, a cutoff feeling. Um, so we kind of like, you know, uh, it sounds like the, the chords are a bit longer um, than they should be, right? And then the bass is going to be a bit shorter. So the bass is going to have this cutoff 7-8 um, sound because there's, you know, one eighth note um, less than you're expecting because obviously you're expecting the four four um, so in the end uh, we've got three eighth notes um, so we'll just do this um, and that's it um, <laughs> that's really cool okay so now what I want to do is um, so I'm going to copy this is cool trick as well so we're going to copy the bass um and we're going to go back into the drums um so now the drums is uh it's got um it's locking in with the 516 but what i want to do now is um is bring in the um the 7 8 um okay that looks like a mess i'm just going to pull these down uh down to here um and we, I'm just going to change the back to eighth notes. Um, okay, so we're not going to use all the kicks, but I do want to. Um, I do want to have the uh, the options. So um, let's just kind of put them all on mm -hmm. one, um, and and then we can see where we're going to go from there. Um, And then we're gonna copy all of these. Um, I'm gonna stick them like just below the kick, and then we're gonna go through and decide what we want to use. Um, so first things first, we want to check where the sevens are, because um, I think it would be cool to. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we'll throw a china on the sevens. Um, to lock it in with that, um, so um, that's the one there. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, that's probably going to be a little weird, maybe. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I kind of like that. Okay, okay. So it sounded weird because I, I forgot to pull the kick up. Um, so that's the one of the seven, eight. Um, and where's the next one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. That's the next one. Let's throw a chime on that. Um, and then two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, one. That's the next one there. Okay. And now, um, how many other ones do we want to bring up? So now we've got the the kick is locking in with that five sixteen and the seven eight. Um, China's are on the seven eight. Um, Nice, that's nice. Okay, we'll maybe bring these up onto the snare just to give us a little fill, which is gonna kind of round things, uh, a little turn around back to the one. You know what, this is really cool over here where we've got um, this um, this um, bar of seven, eight here lines up with our quarter note. Um, so I think what we do here is we're gonna actually tweak i know i said we were going to have backbeats but um plans change right so um i think what's because you can hear like where here there's like a, a kick and snare on the same it kind of like loses that magic a little bit um so um i think uh what we should okay so i'm gonna try this like uh, so i'm gonna actually shift these two backbeats I'm gonna shift them to there because we're hearing this as the one right now. So if we shift this to actually, that is, that's now gonna, it was the one of bar three, but it's now gonna actually sound like B2 uh -huh. behind here because this is gonna sound like B1. Um, <laughs> and that's gonna sound like B2. And that's, so that's gonna sound like backbeat. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I like that. I like that. All right. So now, what are we gonna? Uh, so we just want to bring up a few um, from down here. Um, and when you do polymeters, like it's, um, it's, it is nicer for the for the listener. Like if you if you match them up. So we're bringing in this this note here. Um, so that's the one E and uh, so we should. We should do that for the other ones too. So um, the other bars of seven, eight. So that's the one, um, that's the one here and there. Um, that one, and then that one. Uh, where's the other one? There, and okay, that one's already on the snare. So. Okay, and you see that kick there, um, that's on the snare. Um, it's not super tasty. Um, it kind of gets in the way of the snare, so we're just gonna delete that one. Um, actually, sometimes when you're doing polymeters, uh, just mute it if you want, because otherwise, when you start deleting things, then you're like, where was the, where was the one of the second time signature? <laughs> I like that space there. I like that a lot. Um, it's easy to kind of throw in too many kicks, mm -hmm. um, but maybe that. I like that motif, right? So motif, short musical idea. We've got like two, mm -hmm. um, two sixteenths there and then there, except this is the beginning of that second bar of seven, eight. Um, so if we bring that one in, um, I need to bring the others in. Um, so, uh, where was that? Um, actually, not sometimes I'm gonna cheat because we're doing this live and <laughs> I'm, I'm stressed, I don't want to make a mistake. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is the <laughs> that's the seven eight there. Um, so it's uh. This one, is that the one there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
because actually that yeah because that note was from the five so i don't actually need that one this is my so um oh because i didn't want the five two three four one, two, three, four, five, one. So actually, I don't want that one. So let me do this again. So I just want this one, this one, and that one. Those are the notes that we've brought in from seven, eight. So that's all I want. Okay, good. So I didn't want that one, actually. Yeah, okay. Because I don't want to, I don't want to get in the way of this, the five, sixteen. Um, so that one needs to go there. Okay, and that's it. So now I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we've got enough of that. <laughs> and then whenever you, um, uh, whenever you're doing your polymeters on the drums as well, just remember, um, like you heard it here, it doesn't sound super tasty to have. A, I mean, depending, like, if you're doing a four on the floor or something, you want that pounding, cool. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's not really working here. So um, just go and clean up anywhere under the snare where you've got a kick. Just get rid of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and remember, um, drums only have two hands, so just double check that you don't have any three... Things because we had one um, earlier, but we got rid of that, so um, okay, that's all good. Um, right now, uh, what's the time? You're at 32 minutes. Okay, <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. Okay, so um, oh, we're probably not going to get to. Um, I was hearing other things here, but okay, so we're, we're going to leave that for now. This is plenty. We got we got our polymeter party going. We got three <laughs> three time signatures. Um, so we got the 516 over here. Um, and so this is that thing where we're gonna kind of create that um, that false false pulse. Um, so we're gonna make a false pulse. Um, and then drums are gonna come in here and you're gonna start hearing that backbeat for the first time. So you're gonna start feeding that 4-4. Four, four, um, but also the 4-4 four, four shifts, remember, over here. Um, that's gonna kind of, mm -hmm. it's like displacing the 4-4. Four, four, um, and all the back displacing the backbeat. Um, and bass is coming in, 7-8. Uh, oh, that's going to be a beautiful thing. All right, that's it. Hope you've um, <laughs> got some ideas and inspiration out of that. Um, and uh, remember, uh, if, you, if you like this kind of uh, video, then um, check out the online apprenticeship course because um, we do this from start to finish of the whole song and teach we teach our song whispering method that's the secret sauce so because when you learn this method your song will tell you what it wants and it just feels like it writes itself basically so anyway there you go um we'll do a playthrough now i will shut up and um hopefully um it's uh it's what was it weird and fun so weird and fun weird and fun, party. um weird and fun and um <laughs> I was hopefully I've I've um, proven my my weird and fun. Um, it's weird and fun is in the eye of the beholder, right? Hmm. Mm. T, enjoy the playthrough. Bye. It's been real. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye.